Good morning. So we've come to a place called Zenith, which is like a brunch spot, and it's really, really busy. There's like a massive queue, but these guys were really smart and came early and got a table for us. We ate here the other day and it's really, really good, so we've come back and they have loads of vegan things on the menu, so it should be good. We were up pretty late last night and we're all pretty exhausted, so I think we need this. This is the reality of traveling as a vlogger. You have to spend half the time actually working inside. Yeah. It's like 2.30 and we haven't been out yet because we've been out earlier, but we haven't gone out to sightsee because Alex is working hard to get the travel vlog up. Oh, you work, you're doing well, you're doing well. He's nearly done. Then we can go out and go look at some churches and go down to the Riviera. So we finally made it out. It's just the three of us. <laughs> the because best the best three. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> because the others went to the beach, they wanted to do some surfing, but we wanted to do some sightseeing. So we're gonna go wandering down to towards the Riviera, maybe go to the tower and the Lelo's bookshop and go see everything around town. I've inside the bookstore, and these towns but busy. So I just got this amazing vegan ice cream at a place called Amarino. Uh, well, it's not ice cream, is it? It's gelato. But they had like sorbets and they do chocolate sorbet and hazelnut sorbet, so it doesn't have any milk in it. We are at Francesinha's da by I don't know if you pronounce the X, but they apparently do a vegan Francesinha, which is the regional dish here. And I want to try it because it looks like a big deep fried cheese sandwich. And this whole vegetarian menu, everything on it is vegan. So the cheese, everything's vegan. I'm left out again because it's not gluten free. <laughs> Avocado. Yeah. Wow. It's like a big sandwich, and then covered in like cheese and sauce. With think, seitan. Yeah. I think normally it would be meat. Obviously, this has got seitan, steak and sausage mm -hmm. and vegan cheese and then and a curry. curry sauce and cheese on top yeah. and then we have tofu tofu, mushrooms, tomato and some kind of I think it's sauce with port yeah which feels very, very appropriate <laughs> is it good? it's kind of weird yeah but it's good it's like different So we're now at the cathedral on top of the hill. Can you see it? There it is. And it's a really old cathedral. It's like 12th century. And we just got some really cute pictures with this amazing view. And I think we might go inside now. We were just saying how like Porto's up there as one of one of the coolest places I think I've been to. And Cheryl, do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. 
I'm loving it. I could stay here for a lot longer. I'm sad that tomorrow is our last day. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, uh, as far as European cities go, it's really cool. It's one of the coolest I've visited. Because it's, I love it because it's so old. Like everything's so old still. Yeah. Kind of like Budapest was like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I think I prefer Porto to Budapest. Better vegan food. <laughs> there was very was little say. vegan food in Budapest. So we just did an incredible Instagram mission and took loads of pictures because these streets are just so picturesque and beautiful. So go check out our Instagrams, go check out Cheryl's Instagram <laughs> and mine because it's pretty good this week. We've had some pretty great locations. It makes me want to go out and take more pictures in Brighton because I feel like I'm not taking advantage. But we're heading down to the river now. And... Party time! <laughs> Oh my gosh. And we can hear lots of music. Oh my god, the streets just keep on getting more beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, 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 oh,